Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to part 9 of the LP of Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is actually the final part of the story mission. Now, I am kind of debating to put up Galactic uh, Conquest, Galactic Conquest, but I'm not 100% sure just yet, because that can take about, oh, another 10 parts or so, just because it's annoying, because the enemy can suddenly attack the planet you own, when you have no defenses at that area. So I'm kind of debating, but anyways, it's Revenge of the Empire. Wait, I thought it's the Empire Strikes Back. And... Okay, I'm gonna stop. No bad jokes, anyways. So yeah, Yavin. Revenge of the Empire. Landed on Yavin, whatever <laughs> yeah. Felt at the destruction of the Death Star had been replaced by I'm pretty, yeah. So, and I think anyone would be angry seeing a bunch of their friends just suddenly die. Only to be repaid for our tolerance <laughs> treachery on an unimaginable scale. Well, treachery on a unimaginable scale only because, you know, they're rebels. They're not meant to like you. Wow. So, yeah, the, the fighting wasn't supposed to take long, and I guess they won in less than an hour or so, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> Considering that we have ATSTs to help us out. So, this, this area right here, the stone fountain area... It's actually probably the area I I like the least in Yavin, mostly because the battle area is so small. The enemy can come up literally from behind or to the sides, and not having a buddy to protect you or a squad of troopers like I should be doing is kind of stupid. All around Yavin's uh, territory, though, there are these um, turret posts. These very tall turret posts, and. They are actually quite useful for taking down not only enemies, but for doing decent amount of damage on uh, enemy sh uh, enemy ships, enemy vehicles, I should say, not ships. Um, yeah, it's really good for doing quick little damages like that. And I don't know if it's the sound suddenly going loud or my mic being too loud. Yeah, it's oh, I got a freaking rocket to the face. Oh, thank you a lot, buddy. Ow. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait for them. And it's at this point I go. I have the award rifle. I should just be using the award rifle. Fuck the basic rifle. Yeah, if you guys have the award weapons unlocked, uh, unless it's the shotgun. The shotgun I don't like too much. Oh god damn it! A grenade just blew up my goddamn regeneration droid. It always blows up the healing droid, never the the ammo droid. Always, always the gun. Yeah, there's a Wookiee behind me, and that gets me frightened because, yeah, a Wookiee's uh, bowcaster, fully charged, even at a decent distance, can still pretty much kill you in one shot, unless you're very lucky. Like, I, I should say, if it could still kill you in one shot at a very good distance if you're unlucky. If you're lucky, you'll survive even a fully charged shot. Thing is that... Yeah, usually you want to do this at a medium to close range because it's like all five bullets hitting you at least three at most Oh god damn it Yeah, and there's a lot of enemies here. This is because this area we're gonna have a little rush section section not se session Yeah, we're gonna have a rush session. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna teach you guys how to rush an area yeah, That was the stupidest thing I've ever said uh, now I don't like that freaking uh, tank those tanks there Okay, I'll defend it um, Actually if you go behind the reflecting pool god damn that God damn those grenades if you turn around to the, uh, the reflecting pool, there's actually a um, What do you call it a balcony a ledge like um, what it is is that it's a good little place for sniping. Yeah, those towers there I'm trying to shoot the rebel soldier out of, uh, they actually are useful for what they're, they're doing, sniping at a long distance. Like enemy... Ow, 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 ow. I want to change characters, goddammit. Let me change characters. Yeah, they're not going to let me, are they? I'm going to hide behind this droid here, then I'm going to switch characters. No, wrong class. Wrong class. No, I think I want to heal the droid. That's right. I want to repair the droid. Then I'm going to switch classes. 
Yeah, that sucks that he could shoot you while you're still in uh, class change. It does suck. But I'm gonna destroy those turrets because they're goddamn fucking annoying. And they can shoot a great distance. They can do, like I said, a decent amount of damage on both characters. On uh... Oh, fuck. That rocket just went up. I thought my uh, lock-on kicked in. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Um, you can die pretty easily just because of those goddamn uh, tanks. So try taking those out as soon as you can. Oh, God damn. You yeah, didn't miss our fucking stormtrooper guy just barely. Here I was like, okay, no way, I'm gonna hit this. There's no way I'm hitting this. Like from where I was, I was like, no way. There's no way. Yeah, there we go. Mostly because I knew the rocket was most likely gonna hit the edge, but also the fact that you know you can lose the lock on pretty darn easily. Okay, I'm doing this stupidly. I'm using the wrong. Um, character class. Wrong type of class to do this. Uh, you should be using the jump jet trooper. Yeah. But my question is, if it's a bomb set for us, by us. Hey, Wookie. It was nice knowing you, Wookie. Woohoo! I just killed a Wookie. I just bent the Wookie. Wait. Wow, it took me this long to get a, that joke from the Simpsons. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just used the med and health pack uh, to keep myself alive. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm doing this wrong because I should be using the jump jet trooper. The reason I say is because you're going to have to go... Uh, the shotgun is a good idea, but um, I would prefer using the jump jet trooper. Mostly due to the fact of the arc blast. It's... Uh, like I said, it's a powerful gun. It's a one-shot kill almost practically all the time. I was like wondering what's stopping me from going forward, but it's the droid. Yeah. Stupid little droid. The little gunk droid that's always in my way. Yeah, I love using the jump pack just because it... Oh, uh, I was like, ah, uh, fuck, I'm out of rockets. I'm out of rockets. I'm out of rocket fuel. Okay, no, never mind. Now here I was like, okay, I've got to get these guys. I'm gonna get these guys on one shot. I'm gonna get these guys on one shot. I'm gonna get all these guys on one shot. Yeah, I got all these guys on one shot. I love doing that. You can capture this area just at. Let's say they manage to run away, uh, and you gotta chase them down. You can actually capture this area to get spawn and have an easier time finding them, because I don't think they leave too much of temple grounds at all. If they do, they usually stay within the building. The worst case is that they'll go outside, like what we just saw here. Woo! Now, it was our turn to strike. Yeah, this should have been a great little pun. It should have been, uh, you know, reference to Episode Five's title. It should have been should have said, um, now it's the Empire's time to st turn to strike back, like something like that along those lines. It would have been a nice little nod to both Episode Five and the fact that you know, the Empire is kind of pissed off at the rebellion right now. You know, blowing up a super station that costs probably trillions of dollars, if not more. And yes, I'm making my, this a little easier on myself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to fucking use the Imperial Walker most of the time. <laughs> Mostly due to the fact that, you know, I can. Um, so our finest hour, Lord Vader has discovered a hidden rebel base on Hoth. General Veers is leading the ground, so, leading the ground assault on the base shield generator. Lord Vader will land once the generator is down and personally see to the destruction of the rebellion base and the end of the rebellion. Woo! Fine. No first journal, Hoff, our finest hour. We well, I don't think anyone wants to take off the fucking suit, considering, you know, if it's truly, Hoff says that even during the day, it's like only, the, it's cold, it's warmest, it's gonna get like minus 20. You still want to fucking bundle up. Now, I'm going with Celsius here. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit specifically. Yeah. So, um, I was stupid here. I should have captured it. Come on. Now, this is me being stupid, wanting to get into the at-at right away. When in reality, I should have just, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna start doing those. I have to, yeah, follow the arrows. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's right, I have to capture this area first. Yeah, so an easy way to... Ow, fucking rocket. So, uh, an easy way to get some 
easy time for you is um, not only easy kills, but uh, take out those turrets as soon as you can. The reason is uh, you'll want to have no resistance on the way there. Not only as a trooper, but you know, your infantry, uh, the at ats, you know. You'll want an easy time to kill these things. Yeah, and uh, if you have a friend with you, just cover fire for them at this range. Because you're going to kill more enemies than you're going to hurt your allies, most likely. But here I was like, okay. Yeah, and also, the one thing I don't like about the Imperial Walker, the only thing I don't like about it, this is the one downfall to it, is that, um, god damn, sorry, um, it doesn't have a run feature. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you guys know that most... You've seen me uh, boost with some vehicles. Not only the... Like, you see me boost with um, the uh, tank and all that. Uh, you can do that with almost every vehicle but the Imperial Walker. Which does make sense. Yes, I agree with that. How the hell did I miss this guy but hit the other one? Fuck! Ooh, barely managed to capture that. Okay, yeah, so one thing that's going to be a bothersome also is the snow speeder. Uh, snow speeders are very annoying. Ooh, just shotgun them in the face, yeah. That was the best thing I could ever done. Um, the snow speeders, the reason they're annoying is they're fast little buggers. They're hard to hit. And... These th oh, there we go. I managed to hit one. Woo! <laughs> yeah, this is the most annoying part because if you try to zoom in, uh, they'll just fly around circles. I've never seen the AI tow cable an Imperial Walker. I have never seen it. I can't do it because I'm, I'm all alone, but, uh, come on. That should, okay, I don't know what killed you, but okay, I'll take it. Oh, I managed to hit that one. This was getting really annoying. It's like a fly uh, buzzing around you and you want to fucking kill it. So you move position just enough to see it and, you know, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it sooner or later. I go like, yeah, here we go. Fuck you. Yeah, you didn't know, you didn't think I could back up with this, eh, did you? <laughs> I just love that. It's like, yeah, you think you got me, eh, you little shit fuck? No, here's me backing up. Now, um... I use the it at, at mostly just to show it off, but um, in this mission, not only is time a, con a concern, well, you have 20 minutes. It shouldn't be much of a concern, but what I mean is that um, your ally count should be a concern. Yes, the fact that you have uh, a count for your allies should be a concern. You know, your reinforcements, your reinforcement count. Yeah, I should be really aiming for those turrets. You know, this is the unfair part about the uh, at ats They have very long range weapons. Now, oh god damn it. I noticed that our count is getting very small here. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I'm impressed that uh, Snow Speeder didn't freaking run into us. Like, literally just went puff. I was like, okay, I want to try destroying the generator. No? Oh. Yeah, you can ride Tauntauns. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. It's not a bad idea to get one, from one end of the battle to the other. But it's not the most required way. If you have a good snow speeder pilot and a good uh, side gunner, you know, the, uh, the guy that can use the... Uh... Yeah, here, I just look at our... I just look at our unit count, I'm like... Fuck, I'm going to die. I was like, no, I am not losing this fucking battle. Six men left. Six. Five. Fuck this shit. Fuck it. I'm going for the command post. Yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, fuck this shit. Four. If I die, we're screwed. So I was like really fucking nervous here. I was like... Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Yeah, and the Rebels have an infinite amount of spawns. Three. I was like, oh god, this is going to be literally by the skin of my teeth, isn't it? Yeah, oh. God, thank you. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. 20 extra units. Whoa. 
I was like, isn't that one of our guys? Nope, that's a rebel. Uh, oh wow, this ad ad's taking a fucking beating. Yeah, so now the easy thing to do. Shield generator. Just focus fire on it. If you have some extra allies with you there, you know, you have a co- of a friend playing with you, have them ready to shoot this thing down. Like, just burn it to ashes. This thing takes a good amount of shots, but, you know, it's nothing that you can't handle. There we go, see? And I was like, what, what, what? Oh, right. Clip. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about this point in the game. So I was like, what happened to my game? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. I should have hit the fucking... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that's an ally. That's an ally. So, again, if you want an easy time to get to there, um, just kill all the rebels right there. Now, the second you destroy the shield generator, that area becomes yours, so you get an extra 20 count of men, the soldiers. Now... Yeah, this sucks. This really does. Because I'm trying to just move up and, you know, the at at is super fucking slow. Come on. Come on, I know you're there. Oh, fuck you. Am I going to use the backup trick? Doubt it. Because at this point, like, this is why I wasn't really too nervous when I used the at at Because I knew the... Okay. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, myself, what the fuck did that just happen? Yeah. Um, the Rebel base, though, I do recommend that you do be careful in there. Mostly due to the fact that... Ow. Um, there are going to be a lot of Rebels in there since it's there. Yeah. Fuck no. You're not sniping. Fuck you. Yeah, screw it. That's a dark trooper. Did the, the snow speeder just try to tow cable the dark trooper? It's like what the fuck, man. So a good little plan is to actually try bring an imperial walker all the way to the base. For two reasons: one, you want to have an easy time to spawn close to the base. Two, well, yeah, if you time your shots just right as the rebel speeders are coming out. You could take out one or two, but not like an entire army because, you know, your um, left trigger when I'm using those green shots are more powerful, but they take time to recharge. They're like missiles. Yeah, no. 122 points. Yeah, well, fuck, I'm an Imperial Walker. So at this point, I said, okay, I'm close enough. I should just step out and I'm going to go in and take care of the rebel base. And we have an ATSC backing us up, so this should be easy. Ow. Random fucking shot just hit me. And, oh, come on. Yeah, I was trying to repair it just to give it a little more health. Yeah, no. Sorry, buddy. Shotgun. Yeah, I was trying to just move my ass into the, to the main area. But I forgot, I don't have any grenades. I have a health pack, that's cool. But I don't have grenades. Which I wouldn't need because of all these guys around here. Now, if you have a friend actually doing that, what the AI is doing with the ATS, he's good. And using your um, extra shots to clear out the, um, the snow speeders as well as all the other... Uh, Oh, that was close. I almost shot the Imperial officer. Woo, that was awesome. I did not even plan that. Yeah, again, this is one of those areas that you have to be careful. Um, yeah, I was trying to just stay in cover, stay on my feet. And I saw that, and I was just about to run, and the sniper shot me in the leg. I was like, God damn it, fuck it. I don't care for you. Yeah, this is going to be a lot easier now. I just survived an explosion. I don't know how that happened, but that's cool. Yeah, I just... This is a good idea, too, just doing this. Oh, my God. It is, oh, what the hell? Oh, 
ow, 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 what the fuck? Oh, god damn those fucking rebels. They're not holding still. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I couldn't even see them. Yeah, this is where I started getting really pissed. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go in and rush. Fuck. I'm gonna finish this rush. Because the rebels don't even... Rebel marksman. Get out of there. There we go. Yeah, so when you're charging that gun, an easy way to get out of it is to actually just uh, roll. Yay, Lord Vader. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Now inform Lord Vader. Yes, inform Lord Vader. We've already made our way into the base. He can come and finish the job. Yeah, you can actually roll with the heroes, which is actually kind of cool because the lightsaber wielders will um ro will roll and shut off their lightsabers, while everything else is just a basic roll like an infantry unit. You could tell there's a difference between the heroes, though. Uh, well, obviously Vader is going to be the slowest to roll, but here I was like, okay, fuck it. Save her throw. Save her throw again. Save her throw. Oh, I didn't get the rebel behind the wall. Now I did. <laughs> I love doing that. Getting the rebels behind the wall with the lightsaber. Oh, the basic attack from the lightsaber can kill instantly. Now there is the Millennium Falcon's auto turret. You can actually, there we go. Give yourself a little more extra leeway with it. Yeah, uh, what I'm trying to do here is just clear all these rebels out. Mostly because, you know, I don't want to die as Vader. But I still managed to do somehow. Yeah, uh, fun little fact, I usually manage to stay alive as Vader long enough to actually be, let him be the one to uh, drop the grenade. Oof, that sniper shot would have hit me from behind. I would have been dead. Ow. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, we still got the Millennium Falcon. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. The AI managed to save it. It's like, yeah, we objective complete with Vader down on the ground. Shit, not good. So, yeah, fuck it. Stormtrooper. Time to do this the old-fashioned way. So yeah, this is an uh, this is an annoying little bit. The reason it's annoying is that there are auto machine gun turrets all over this place. You can see one right there in front of me. Now I'm doing this stupidly. Prior to yeah, here we go. The award rifle is the way I should be doing this. Uh, these award these turrets are annoying because they're so fast. But not only that, they don't do much damage, but if you stand still like an idiot, um, you're going to end up dead because of it. So an easy way to do this, if you're... Uh, so that thing does have health, uh, but it takes a fuck ton of time to, to die. So an easy way to do this is just, if you're a trooper, stay in the trench. Um, try to evade as best as you can. Use your grenades, but be careful when you're using your grenades. You can shoot the... Uh, you can destroy the auto beacon yourself, so be careful. And a sniper shot just literally nicked my head. And this is where I was like, fuck, there's so much people. Fuck it, grenade. Yeah, I'm really low on health, and I was really nervous when I kept seeing all these grenades pop up. I was like, Jesus Christ, people. Calm the fuck. And I was like, literally on my edge of my life here. I was like, ugh. Thank God. Oh, man. Whew. Ooh. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. We've done it. We've beaten the rebels. Yeah, so uh, the rebels will keep coming from that little outpost right there. So I was like, okay, grenade. Will it time just right? Oh, yeah, it timed pretty well. <laughs> so, yeah, I finished it with chucking grenade and killing a few extra rebels just in time. It's like, woo! Yeah, that was a nice little group shot right there. It's like, fuck you, rebels. No, I'm more of a rebel guy than the Empire. But anyways, that's it. That's the end of the campaign for Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and see why I love this game. Look, as much as I give EA shit in my rant, they are trying their best. But again, you guys just saw how much more fun this was for me. And I really did not enjoy EA Battlefront. So I hope they can learn from this, that experience and listen to the fans. I know they won't, but I hope that one day they do. So yeah, peace restored to the galaxy. Now at this point, this is where I wish it was a rebel story. But anyways, this is, and then, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night. Hope you guys enjoyed this.